Hello everyone, thank you for having me. I am Emmanuel Ruber da Silva and today I will be presenting the work Aspect-Based Sandman Analysis Using BERT with Disentangled Attention. Our motivation. Aspect-Based Sandman Analysis, or for short ABSA task, aims to identify a Sandman related to an aspect. For example, the phone screen is great, but the battery runs out fast. In this example, the Phone screen is a great aspect of the product, and the battery is a bad aspect. This integrated representation splits explanatory factors of the data to get better predictions. This work applies this integrated representation learning on ABSA task using BERT with this integrated notation, the BERT, on semi-level task 4 for the data sets, restaurants, and notebooks. The disentangled representation learning aims to create data representations where each factor of representation means a unique explanatory factor of the data, turning the generated representations more human interpretable. Recent works on the natural language processing field brought this concept that is mainly studied on the computer vision field. Explanatory factors for image data can be defined as visual concepts that change the turning data, including object translation, rotation, color, and shape change, and other aspects. On natural language processing, there is no consensus about what are the explanatory factors of the data. One of the definitions is that the explanatory factors of text data can be defined as semantic and syntactic features. Other authors define this style and semantic space of features where this definition can help to capture the writing style of the authors of the data. We hypothesize that in the context of ABSA, the semantic and syntactic spaces can be helpful to get better predictions. The disentangled attention introduced by the bird proposes to separate the content and text position components the main idea is to learn attention weights for each component, different from other proposals that send the position vector to the content vector. This explicit separation allows the model to better split position and content components of the data, where position embedding is responsible for generating syntactic features and content embedding is responsible for semantic features. Applying the burden to expected basis and mean analysis task, it is expected to achieve better results than other methods that do not disentangle the position vector from the attention mechanism. To evaluate the ABC demerit, we use the same evil benchmark datasets, laptop and restaurant reviews. In those datasets, a user evaluates their experience with a laptop or restaurant based on aspects and their respective qualities. As we can see from our results table, ABSA Demerita provides some good results when compared to other state-of-the-art methods. Even using a simple fine-tuning strategy, the ABSA Demerita outperforms recently proposed strategies for the ABSA task, obtaining state-of-the-art results. We emphasize that the disentangled representation learning mechanism improves the performance of the ABSA task since the final text representation contains the explanatory factors related to syntactic structures, the position embedding and semantics, the content embedding. The separation of position and content can be analogous to a certain extent to the separation of syntactic and semantic spaces with the position only including the ordinary feature of the text, but leaving other aspects of syntax aside. This integral representation learning can help the ABSA task by detaching position and content vectors, by leveraging state-of-the-art result on the same evil dataset. And finally, I want to thank you all for watching this presentation and to Professor Ricardo Marcassini, who contributed to this work.
Thank you.